Hey guys, it's Janae. I hope you're all doing well. We are back with video number three. So I have this listed because it's a pet peeve of mine. Do you really need to ask um, person, place, time, you know, are you trying to, do you really need to assess for patients alert status and orientation? Absolutely. I can't tell you how many times I come on and or I get rapport during the day and I ask, okay, are they alert and oriented? And then to what? Oh, I don't know, maybe a one-ish, a two-ish. <sighs> Thorough assessments. I recently got a compliment <laughs> and I'm literally doing, so this person, let's say a walkie-talkie, that means someone who is, you know, alert oriented, talking, not on a ventilator, walking, can ambulate fine, at that point, if they're in the ICU, most likely they, they have transfer orders out of that out of the unit. So, and this person may even have like a, we're waiting for discharge orders. Even though you're at that point where you're almost going home, I will definitely do a thorough assessment. And the compliment was, oh, you do a thorough job. Absolutely, I have someone's life in my hands and I'm here to help and make sure that you're getting better and that there are no changes. Assess, assess, assess. Do you remember that from nursing school? You want to assess and then reassess. So I told a patient once, uh, could you have the person call you back? I need to do my assessment. So you had two choices. I could have left him talking on the cell phone and kind of just did my assessment around him or I could have told him, please get off the phone. I need to do my assessment on you. I did that one, of course. And I went ahead and asked, okay, tell me your first and last name, your date of birth, where are you right now, what brought you to the hospital, what year are we in, um, who is the president. I want to make sure that nothing has changed. So when I give report, I can tell, yes, totally alert oriented times four, he was able to do this X, Y, and Z. And if he wasn't, then I'm able to give detailed information to the nurse so we can find out are things progressing, are things improving, are things getting worse. So yes, please do thorough assessments. You want to provide the best, the most recent um, information to the um, upcoming nurse or the physicians that are rounding or the pharmacist or anyone else who's also taking care of this patient. So. Don't fall into a, a bad habit of, okay, he's talking in the phone, so he must be AO times four. Absolutely not, absolutely not. So I really hope that you get something from this video because it could be a slight change that could cause a patient's outcome um, to deviate from where you thought it was going. Obviously with medicine, the body health, um, it's not just, okay, he's talking on the cell phone, we're good, we're, we're going towards improvement and discharging. Um, there are moments where things definitely shift and we go backwards and it's okay, but you would only know that if you're doing thorough assessments. So please go ahead and get in the habit of making sure that you are giving yourself the environment to do a thorough and um, accurate assessment. So whether it's, let's say, family or visitors or anyone like that, go ahead and have them either sit in the corner, can they stay in the room, can they step out? If they're on their phone or just distracted, go ahead and meet the TV, turn the TV off, um, have them get off the phone, and just make sure that you start from a good place to determine their level of consciousness. Things change, especially if they're there for um, a neurological issue. You want to make sure that you're doing accurate and you keep a consistent system to it so you're not forgetting, oh yeah, last time I asked just, you know, their birthday and then the next patient you forget to ask. Um, and then this goes back and this is probably another video about neuro checks, especially if they're there for a neurological um, issue, but I want you to just get in a good habit. I can see how routine things can feel but again, this is patient safety, so make sure you do a great job. And you're trained to do that, so go ahead and keep doing that. All right, so I hope you got something out of it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share the videos. Bye.